This is a demo of the uh, retro gaming PC I put together. This is running Windows 10 and LaunchBox BigBox. I'm using a wireless Xbox One or Xbox Series X controller. You can connect pretty much any Microsoft Xbox controller either with a USB cable or I'm using a wireless Bluetooth dongle. So the interface is really clean. You've got all your different games broken out by platform. And then you've got different categories. So you've basically got every arcade game ever made in this setup. And it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Let's do something good here. I'm a big fan of NFL Blitz. This game plays great. Now if you like, you can set this to where um, you don't have that artwork on the side. You could have the game take up the full screen if you like. I have it in the original aspect ratio. Okay, you get the idea. Uh, you've basically got every Atari 2600 game ever made. Uh, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari Jaguar. ColecoVision, you've got all the Daphne games like Dragon's Lair, uh, Killer Instinct, this is in the arcade section but it's got its own section here too, uh, all your light gun games and television, all the Mortal Kombat games, so these are from all the different platforms, arcade, Sony PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Uh, NBA Jam, Turbo Graphics 16, Nintendo 3DS. So this was a weird dual screen setup, so I tried to do this to where it would look enjoyable playing it on a TV.
Nintendo 64, everything. You get the whole library. All these games play great. Got Nintendo DS. Old school Nintendo, whole library, all the Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo GameCube, got a bunch of games. You can fill this up for the whole screen too. I just haven't set that. Nintendo Wii games will work with a Wii remote. You just need to get a Wii remote and a sensor bar. You can either get a wireless sensor bar or a USB powered sensor bar on Amazon. They're like five to 10 bucks. All these games play great. Uh, racing, a Thomas Wave. These are like old arcade games. Sega 32X, bunch of games for Sega Dreamcast. Sega Genesis, Model 2, these are arcade games. Sega Naomi, these are arcade games. So like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I need to set that mouse to hide too so you can't see that. But that's an easy fix. Sega Saturn games, Sony PlayStation, PlayStation 2. These games also work great. Def Jam Fight for New York, probably one of my favorite games.
All the games played great. Okay. Sony PSP games, Street Fighter, all the Super Nintendo games. And then I've got some Technoparrot games. These are like modern arcade games. You'd see these at like Dave and Buster's. So like Mario Kart arcade, for example. Now these games take um, maybe 30 to 45 seconds to load, but they all play great. Some of them you're gonna need a light gun for, like an aim track or a send in light gun. Send ins are great, but they're, they take a long time to get. So this will take just another few seconds. Here we go. This game has actually kind of a, a long startup time, but we'll get into it here in just a second. Techno Pair, it's cool. You get like a, a modern Contra game, um, Transformers game that you see at like Dave and Buster's. Uh, Rambo, the Rambo game you see at like Dave and Buster's, Luigi's Mansion, Virtual Fighter 5, all that stuff's on here. This is a reasonably fast computer. It's just not much you can do about the loading time. This is just the arcade software. So this game was um, in all Japanese. These guys translated most of it to English. Still very playable, even with the few parts that are in Japanese. Okay, here we go. Race about to start. You get the idea. I need a keyboard to exit this. Um, so that's it. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.